Okay, here it is, Sunday, June 30th, last day of the, is this the last day of June? Yeah, holy moly. All right, well, time's flying. And on top of that, I'm way behind on my videos and my projects I got going on here. Oh, man. So I'm just doing a quick video here to try to catch up. So this is an update on our OG trade. Now, I've made a couple of these videos. I'll put a link to each of the videos in the description. This is a super cool trade setup where it's actually possible to set up a trade that has zero risk like like this one where there's no risk whatsoever on the risk graph everything resides above the zero line uh from initiation like from, from the moment you put it on now there's a lot of different ways to make trades like to uh adjust trades into position like this after they've been on for a bit like to tweak them in like put on one leg that has risk on it and then wait for the market to move hopefully in your direction and then put on the other leg and then you can you can boost the whole thing up above the zero line this isn't that uh, i've done tons of those and this is completely different this is a trade you can put on at initiation and at initiation the whole thing resides above the zero line so as blasphemous and sacrilegious as it might sound these are risk-free trades and i've done a number of these live and i made videos on them you can check them out i'll put the links to them in the description below just check out the whole history of this trade the og trade and i've done two live trades this is my third live trade i wanted to do three tests all the way through the end to like expiration just to confirm that what i'm seeing is what i'm believing and there's actually see there's some gotchas or something i can't i don't see blind spots like i'm trying to figure out what am i missing here but so far, I'm not missing anything. And I've made two, uh, I did one on Apple, I did one on Tesla. This one is on NVIDIA. And again, these are trades that can be initiated at the beginning of the trade, completely above the zero line. So as I'm continuing to build this project out and like develop this trade, uh, a couple of criteria has popped up that I wanna try to hit. And the main goal, I guess, is like, where can I get a risk-free, quote unquote, risk-free trade or a risk-free return on my money. Um, so T-bills, there's T-bills. There's the bank interest, if your bank has a good interest rate. And so let's say T-bills right now are like at uh, about 5%, 5.5%. So the criteria for these is I need to get a return or have the ability to make a risk-free return on these trades that beats that. And this one absolutely does that. So with that criteria knocked out of the way, then it's like, let's see how we can... Uh, we can we can build and create these trades kind of like Legos like build these structures on it to try to maximize and exploit these trades to the fullest. So this trade here was put on a couple weeks back. This is a trade that expires on July 19th. So there's about three weeks, right? Yeah, about three weeks, a little bit less than three weeks left on this. And at the time, this was put on like the day after one or two days after Nvidia split. So I put this trade on at the time. I can actually see where it was trading at. So when I put this trade on, it was trading at 122.19, 122.19. So that's like up in here. And let's look at let's look at a chart of Nvidia real quick, just kind of get an idea of where that is. So here is Nvidia. You can see on one. Let's see where's 120. I put it on on. Uh, it was at 122, right at the split there. So about right. Right about there is where I got it. And you see we had this big run up. Went up to 140. I didn't even realize that. And that's one of the cool things about this trade. I just really don't even give a crap. I put the trade on because, again, I don't. I just kind of have a general uh, outlook where I think it might be going. But in worst case scenario, uh, I don't really care because I can't lose on this trade. I mean, if it does what I think it's going to do, I can lean these one way or the other to try to maximize the profit in them, which I did with this. So my initial thought when, when NVIDIA split, it was at 122-ish that it would just go up from there. That's what I thought. But um, I, I've come to realize that I'm the worst stock picker in the world. And so direction is really meaningless to me. And that's why I like to do trades like these. So I just kind of thought, well, I think it's going to go up after a split. So I got into this trade where I could maximize the profit uh, if it did go up all the way up to infinity in this trade. If it does that, uh, the worst case scenario is I'm going to make $102 on this. And then if it comes down in here and happens to land in this tent somewhere, we can make more than that all the way up to the peak. If it lands right there, we can make up to like, say, 190 ish, 190 bucks. And worst case scenario, if NVIDIA just crashes and goes down, uh, we can make a whopping two bucks. And I built this trade specifically so that I had the least amount of profit I could get while still getting the profit. So there's other variations I could have done where I made like a guaranteed profit all the way to zero of say 10 bucks or like 30 bucks, 50 all the way up. 
but uh, I wanted to just create a position where if it stayed above the level where I got in at and it went in the direction I thought it was going to go at, if I was completely wrong, I still make some money. It's still a risk-free trade, and that's what this is. And what's cool about this is that if things change before July 19th when these options expire, if I was completely wrong and it turned around and it did come down here, I'm not locked into this only $2 gain. I mean, I can, I can, I can continue to adjust this trade as the days go by. And if it were to come down here and my outlook changed, I thought, oh, man, we're going to zero or we're, we're going to crash from here. Or we're just going to go down from here. I can just simply do a tweak that just flips this whole thing around where we have the bulk of our profit on this side all the way to zero now with a, with a spike of uh, profit potential. I mean, just imagine this this risk graph flipped. So we have some profit available all the way up to infinity and then uh, the most, the majority of the profit in the trade if it goes all the way down to zero. So just the exact opposite of this. And I'll show some examples of that in a second. So, oh, and then the last thing with this is that uh, Nvidia, although I don't really trade stocks, if I had to trade some stocks, if someone held a gun to my head and said, you need to buy a stock, which stock do you want to buy? Uh, I think Nvidia would probably be the sh what, that. Yeah, I, like, I, I like Apple, I'm an Apple geek, I'm a Mac geek. Tesla, I'm a big old Elon Musk fanboy. And Nvidia, I think Nvidia has uh, a lot of opportunity, potential opportunity ahead. So if someone forced me to buy a stock, I would I would trade stock. And so what this also allows me to do, this position setup, is that if I am completely wrong and Nvidia finishes trading below this level here, and I only make my two bucks at the end, I still have the ability to, I have two short uh, puts in here where I can then be assigned the stock if I so choose at like 111, 112 ish in that area. And I can actually buy the shares, shares that I would like to buy anyway, if I was a, if I was a stock buyer, Nvidia, Nvidia shares, uh, I could buy them at a discount from where it's currently trading right now. So there's just a bunch of benefits to this. And uh, it's just a really cool trade, a trade that I can't, uh, I'm still like pinching myself that this is actually, that this opportunity is available. So let's just go back to the chart real quick. So, uh, you can see I got in like right about here on Nvidia. It went up like I thought it was going to do, and then uh, it 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 peaked out at 140, and then it's come back. It's come back to it came back to 120 here, and I don't know what the heck caused that, but it came down here, and this kind of like slowly looks like it may be building its way back up. But let's see the low here was at is that 117, 119, like 118, 119. So let's take a look at that where that's on this 118, 119 is still up here. I mean, I got in at 122, so it went all the way up to 140. So after I got into this trade, it, it went all the way up here to 140. And then it came all the way back down to 118, lower where I, I got it at 122-ish right here. So I didn't have any worries. I mean, I don't have any worries at all, no matter what. And I wasn't even aware that it, like, spiked up to 140 or that it crashed back down to 118. I just found that out like this weekend as I was just kind of randomly looking through the thing, which is another great thing about these trades. I really don't give a crap what happens after I put them on because regardless, it's a risk-free trade and I have time. I'm not locked into this this decision that I made to build this risk graph or build this trade the way that it is. I'm not locked into that all the way to the end. I can just flop it if I want. I can switch it. I can add things to it. I can adjust it. I have like tons of time and tons of opportunity to follow the market or to reverse what I think it's going to do, or just try to cash in and milk this thing for as much as I can until the options expire on January 19th. So let's look at a couple of examples of what I could do. This is a real live money position. This is a real trade I have on, and I'm not going to make any adjustments at this point, but let me just give you an example of some of the additional things that we could do. Super easy adjustments to this, and let's just take a look at what those might look like. So the first potential adjustment we could do, let's say that uh, I totally changed my outlook on this and I didn't think that Nvidia was going to go up or I didn't even think it was going to stay where it's at. I thought it was going to crash down below 110 or like even below 100. That's my, let's just pretend that that's my outlook on it. And so when I put this trade on, my outlook was that it was going to go up. So I, I just, I tilted this trade or I built it in such a way so that I make the most amount of money that I can if it goes up like to infinity. But now my let's just say that my outlook changed for some reason. And now I think it's just going to go down. I don't think it's going to go up. I think it's going to be at uh, less than 100. So what can I do with three weeks left now? So just some super simple things we can do. We can just flip the thing. And for example, we do this. I can just flip the whole thing around. So before we had this. 
And this trade was built with my outlook being that NVIDIA was going to be bullish. It was going to go, it, it would move up until the options expire on July 19th. And so that's why this is built this specific way. I have some money I can make. If it does the exact opposite of what I think, it's going to go down, but I believe it's going to go up. So I built the trade. So no matter what, I'm not going to lose any money. It's a risk-free trade. I have a little bit of a bonus lottery in here where I can make up to 190 bucks. And then if it, if it does what I think it's going to go up from here, I make 102 bucks all the way up to as far as it goes up to infinity and beyond. And again, two bucks, no matter what, it's a risk-free trade. It goes all the way to zero. But again, let's say my outlook changed. So instead of this, I think it's going to go down now. So with a simple tweak, just a really quick, simple adjustment, I can just flip the whole thing around like this. So with this trade, I've flipped the thing around and you can have different variations of this. You can, we can, we can place this tent anywhere we want, as far down we want or as far up. In this example, I've put it pretty close to at the money where it's trading at right now. Just to show there's another another thing you can do with these. You can kind of follow price around as we get closer to expiration. You can see I can reposition this thing. I can make an adjustment to the position to meet what the stock has done and or what my outlook is if it's changed and also where price actually is. So price is here. And if I felt that it was going to stay in this general area, I can re-maneuver this whole thing so that the uh, this lottery ticket tent where I can make up to 302 bucks now with this adjustment. I can place that right over where the price currently is or potentially follow it as it continues to move. So there's that. But the other thing is the main thing is I just flip this thing. So again, before we had this, because my outlook was that it was going to go up. But in my pretend world here, let's just say that my outlook suddenly changed. I thought it was going to go down. So I just flipped the whole thing. So now I can do this. I can make uh, 112 bucks all the way down to zero, no matter what happens. I'm guaranteed me to make at least 112. That's the worst case scenario if it lands anywhere from here all the way to zero. If it lands in this tent here, I have the lottery ticket right now, close to where it's actually trading right now. And we can make up to 312 ish bucks if it lands right at that peak or anywhere along this line here this this wing here this blue line we can make various amounts of uh further added profit uh, all along these lines and then the worst case scenario if it does take off and go up to infinity beyond anywhere from this point forward uh, the worst case scenario with this simple tweak, this flip flop adjustment that I did, you can see that uh, the worst case scenario is that I make 12 bucks, which is actually better than the two bucks I had before uh, if it moved down. So I just flipped the whole thing around. And again, worst case scenario, this is still a risk free position. Worst case scenario is that I'm going to make 12 bucks on this no matter what happens. Best case scenario is I could make up to 300 and uh, the middle ground, or if it goes from anywhere down to zero, I'll make at least 112 bucks. So that's the first example. Let's take a look at another example real quick. This one is if we wanted to move, uh, we wanted just to give us ourselves more room. So uh, we built this tent out up here. We just pulled the whole, we, we did the exact same adjustment we just did. We flopped, flip flopped, adjusted the whole thing around. So now there's the majority of the profit all the way down to zero. So in this case, if it, if it winds up trading on July 19th, anywhere from here all the way to zero, we'll make at least a minimum of 99 bucks. If it lands in this tent area here, we can make up to 295. And worst case scenario on this one is that we'll lose $1. You can see it down here. Look at the blue number. When I put my mouse over that, you can see that the worst case scenario is uh, 99 cents, a loss of 99 cents. So while technically this isn't a risk-free position, we could continue to massage and tweak this trade to get uh, a risk-free position if we want, or I can just say if a dollar is close enough for me. And so this is basically, this adjustment is just very similar to the one I just showed you a minute ago, where the tent was at the money. And this version, we just pushed the whole thing up so that the tent is further out of the money to the upside and no particular reason for that but i just want to show this uh this example to show that you're just not you're not locked into there's tons of potential uh possibilities and opportunities and different variations you can build these things are super flexible bendable and again just a really super cool idea and trade okay let's look at another example now in this example, this is saying like, let's pretend that my, uh, my outlook changed from where it was before, from where the real live money trade currently is, which is right here. Let's just say I thought that it was going to stagnate and sit in this area for a bit. Uh, adjustment for that we could do at this point is we could simply do this. 
we can just flatten out the side and put the butterfly in there. Here's where it's currently trading at. So if it lands anywhere between 120 and 124, if it stays in this range, we can make all the way up to 260-ish. And worst case scenario on either side is we make 64 bucks. Uh, if, it, if it finishes trading from here all the way to zero, I make 64 bucks. If it finishes trading here all the way up to infinity, I make 64 bucks. So it's a totally risk-free position with a bonus trade. The worst case scenario is it will make $64 on this trade. And, but we have this lottery ticket in the middle, or we can move this thing around. We can potentially move this around as it, as the price moves day by day closer to expiration. Now, I wouldn't want to do it on a daily basis, but I could see that potentially being an opportunity to do that on a weekly basis. Or we could wait till we get really close to expiration and then see if we can do that. Then we can just move the entire structure to where it's trading at, like say a week out or so. So there's that adjustment. Now there's this one, which is very similar to the last one we had. We just turned this thing into a uh, a butterfly we we morphed it into this butterfly but it's much much wider than the last one the last one there's like a four point range that we wanted to try to stay we that we hope to stay in to to be able to exploit that to the fullest and the the benefit of that one was we had a narrower range that we had to stay in to get the benefit of the butterfly but on that one we had no matter what happens we'll make at least 64 bucks all the way up all the way down on this one we just we made the the tent bigger we've increased the width of the butterfly so now we can make up to a potential of 500 bucks if the if nvidia finishes trading in this area right at this peak here on july 19th three weeks away we have all this playroom where we have we can still make additional profits like additional significant profits like 100 bucks 200 bucks there 300 bucks and a bigger, wider range to do that. In this one, if it lands anywhere from 118-ish to 128, like a 10-point range, we have a lot more uh, profit potential in this one. And the downside to this is that while this, this trade is still a risk-free trade, if it winds up trading anywhere from right here all the way down to zero, the we'll make nine bucks. That's the best case or worst case scenario. Well, it, it's still a risk-free trade. We can't lose on it. But if it lands anywhere from here all the way to down, we'll only make $9. And if it lands anywhere from here all the way up, we'll only make $9. So we still make a profit. Uh, it's just the trade-off to get a wider range to work in and more profit potential here. We have to trade it off somewhere. And so we bring this down to the minimum. And there can be various versions of this too. This, I just tweaked this one to specifically create a trade like this where there was still some profit if it were to go all the way to zero or go all the way up, like a worst case scenario of at least some profit. I mean, we could get more profit in this by just by taking these legs and rolling them up a little bit. And it would diminish, it would, it would bring the butterfly down. We, we would have less potential profit available at the top of this thing, but we'd have more uh, guaranteed profit on these outer edges all the way up to infinity, all the way down to zero uh, in return. So there's that one. And then here's another one. Let's say that we were super bullish. We got, let's say we had some sort of secret information, not insider information. That's illegal. Don't even think about that. But we had some sort of idea or a reason to believe that it was going to just shoot off. It's going to be taken super bullish and would make a big move up. We could take that trade that we had before, that butterfly that, we, that we're currently in with real money right now, and we could do a morph to it, a super simple tweak to turn it into this so that we have an unlimited to the upside profit potential. You go up as far as we go, and there's a, it just there's no cap on it. It's, if it just takes off to 200 bucks, 300 bucks, 400, we can get all we can get all that appreciation in it. So we're have an unlimited profit potential to the upside, and a worst case scenario if it stays from here all the way down to zero, that we'll at least make 46, like about 45 to 46 bucks. So it's still a risk free position. Worst case scenario is that we'll make 45, 46 bucks on this. And best case scenario is that we have unlimited upside profit potential where we could make you know, literally thousands of dollars. Uh, the higher it goes, the more we can make. And we can do the same thing on the other side. Let's say that for whatever reason we thought that it was going to crash, it was going to, yeah, it was, that we thought it was going to crash and go down from here. So we could just flip flop what the last one was. We could turn that current butterfly that we have on right now with real money, just do a simple tweak to it, to just do the exact opposite of what we looked at, where we have unlimited profit potential to the downside well at least down to zero so if nvidia were to crash and go much lower all the way down to zero we have unlimited profit potential all the way down uh, where we make tons of money on a big move like that but meanwhile if it doesn't do that and we're just we stay within this range here anywhere from here 
all the way up to infinity. The worst case scenario is that we make 49 bucks. So it's still a risk-free position. And we don't have, we can't lose money on this, but we can make unlimited profit to the downside. So let's just look at one more real quick. So here's the last one I'm gonna look at. I mean, and these things, there's unlimited possibilities. It's just kind of like uh, taking the time to, to try out different things, getting in here and like looking at different adjustments from the current trade we have on. It's kind of like building Legos. I mean, there's tons of different things you can do. And I could be here all day doing this, but here's one I just quickly put together. So worst case scenario here is that we can make, if like say 200 and to up to $226 in this peak, we can make a lot more if it lands in this little butterfly peak. And this one, we can make even more. We can make up to 330-ish bucks if it lands in this area. And if it lands in the middle, we still have a really great return of $132. And worst case scenario are the outer edges. If it lands anywhere from here, all the way up to the moon, the worst case is that we're gonna make 32 bucks. So we still make money. There's no way to lose. And if it lands anywhere from here, all the way down to zero, we still make 32 bucks. There's no way to lose. So it's still a risk-free position. The absolute, uh, no matter what, we're going to make money on this position. It's just a matter of where it lands, how much will we make. And the absolute worst case scenario is that we'll make 32 bucks. So that's the OG update. I'm going to continue to follow this along as we get closer to expiration. Uh, these expire for this trade on July 19th. So I will continue to update these, hopefully on a, like a, at least a weekly basis. And again, I'm not going to make any adjustments from where it's currently at. Let's take a look at the, the current trade. The current real life money trade right now is this. It's same as we put on, I just haven't made any adjustments to it yet. To be honest, I haven't been even paying attention. I didn't even realize it went up to 140. I didn't realize that it crashed back down to 122-ish or wherever it landed, what, 120, wherever it came down to. I wasn't even aware, that. I wasn't even watching it. I just kind of forgot about it. And that's fine because the way this is built, uh, I don't really care either way. No matter what, I'm going to make a good return, guaranteed a good return. And if it winds up landing in here, I'll make at least something. But I'll also have the ability to, if it starts to move down here, I can flip the whole thing like I did in the examples I just showed you. And so I can still make a really good return. It's just, uh, I'm just amazed by these trades. There's opportunities available and how flexible and bendable and customizable they are and fun. All right, so that's it for this one. If you'd like to follow along with me on this trade and continue to see the updates, how this trade progresses, just make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel below. Hit that subscribe button. Also be sure to join me on my website. I'm planning to put together some training on this. I'm just so far behind on everything. I will be getting to it, but I did want to get three real live money trades completely out of the way before I did that. And we've done two of them to completion. This is our third one. We did one on Apple. We did one on Tesla. And there's this one here, which has about three weeks left. And I'll leave links to all the videos. I have videos for each of those all the way back and as well as the initial video, like that kind of explains the whole backstory of this trade. I'll leave those links in the description below so you can easily find them and go through them. And again, I'm looking to put together some training on this. I do, I do want to complete this last one here just so I can have three real live money trades, real live money trades proof under my belt and then release this thing out into the wild. So if you're interested in learning about this, just let me know, just send me an email. And for everyone who's already sent an email, I have all those emails. I have a specific list of everyone who said they wanna learn more about this trade. It's just that I haven't got to the training yet. It's coming up shortly. But if you haven't reached out to me already and said that you're interested in learning about this trade, just email me. I'll put your name on that list. And as we get closer to finishing this trade out and putting together the training on it, I'll be reaching back out to you, let you know that we're getting ready to go. So again, if you've already emailed me on this, I have it on your list. If you haven't, go ahead and email me. The best way to email me is just to go over to my website. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. You go over to my website, sign up for my free email newsletter. As soon as you do that, you'll get a welcome email sent out to you. Just reply back to that welcome email and say, hey, what's up? Or I'm interested in learning the OG trade or put me on the OG list and we'll go from there. All right, that's it for this one. Have a great trading week coming up. I'll see you next time.